Vital Radiation Safety Practices Working with radioactive sources comes with certain risks. You can minimize the risks at our university by following these safety practices. First, you should know that, besides your supervisor, there is a radiation safety officer in your department. Before any activity with radioactive sources, you must contact them for a risk assessment and instructions. Radioactive sources emit ionizing radiation in the form of alpha and beta particles, as well as gamma rays. They are divided into sealed and unsealed sources. Sealed sources are designed to prevent the release of radioactive substances. Unsealed radioactive sources are not encapsulated and pose the risk of contamination. Exposure to ionizing radiation can result in severe health problems, such as burnt tissues and cancer. Hence, exposure limits have been established to reduce the risk. The health effects of radiation on the human body are measured in sievert using film badges or dosimeters. For occupationally exposed persons, the effective dose must not exceed the limit of 20 millisievert per calendar year. To prevent accidental exposure, you must adhere to the following safety measures when working with radioactive sources. Laboratories for working with radioactive sources are classified into three types, based on the permissible limit and the radioactivity of the sources handled. They are marked with radiation hazard symbols and access is only granted by the radiation safety officer. Contact your supervisor for instructions about what personal protective equipment you need and how to properly wear it. To keep exposure to radiation as low as reasonably achievable, limit your exposure time. Keep as much distance from the radiation sources as possible, for example by using remote handling devices. Use appropriate shielding according to the type of radiation, for instance aluminum for beta particles or lead and concrete for gamma rays. Most importantly, avoid internal exposure, such as inhalation, ingestion, and contact with open wounds. While working, monitor yourself using film badges and dosimeters. After working with unsealed sources, monitor your clothing and the working area using the appropriate radioactivity detectors and counters. Store radioactive sources safely in the designated place. As instructed by the radiation safety officer, the container must be labeled with the name of the radionuclide, the corresponding radioactivity level, the acquisition date, the name of the person responsible, and the radiation symbol. All transports of radioactive sources must be approved by your radiation safety officer and must be carried out solely by trained personnel. For transport inside the building, secure the properly labeled source in double packaging. For national or international transport, consult the Dangerous Goods Safety Advisor from the Risk Management Department. When disposing of radioactive sources, return the source to the supplier, if possible, or reuse it. If radioactive material must be disposed of, separate liquids from solids. Label and store radioactive material only in the original UN-approved disposal containers provided by the Radiation Safety Officer. Materials with half-lives of less than 60 days must be inactivated in a decay room. After inactivation, remove any radiation symbols and dispose of it as hazardous waste. For tritium, carbon-14 and sources with half-lives of over 60 days, different regulations for disposal apply.
contact your radiation safety officer and the risk management department for further processing. In case of emergency, switch off sealed sources if possible, leave, lock off, and secure the area. In the event of a spill of unsealed sources, leave the contaminated area. Alert the radiation safety officer and the emergency organization. Report any incident to the risk management department. We want to protect your health and the environment. We are here to make your workplace safer.